Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my hair at home. Because you guys, my hair is getting so long, it's starting to drive me absolutely nuts. And if you watched my recent vlog, you know that I went shopping for a hair cutting scissors in Switzerland and they were all very expensive. So actually, I'm in Germany now and lucky for me, I found a very nice scissors at about a third of the price as the ones in Switzerland. So this was a $7 scissors that I picked up yesterday. So what I liked about this is that it has the um, like rubber insoles in the little clipper part and also has this which makes it easier to pop open. So I really like that and it also has a little uh, screw here so if the um, blades would ever get like loose or wobbly you can just tighten it up. Um, some of the cheaper ones they don't have that so if it goes bad you kind of have to throw it away. So I'm really happy that I found this one. Some of you guys were wondering if I ended up buying a scissors and I waited until I came to Germany because yeah good quality stuff at uh, very low prices here so we we're having a lot of fun over here in Germany because everything is so affordable compared to what we're used to in Switzerland so let's get straight into the tutorial so the first thing that I did as you guys can tell I straightened my hair with the flat iron I don't usually do that but that is why my hair looks super long and shiny today it is just crazy crazy long you guys um, it literally goes about down to my this is like the top of my pants so you can see it's almost down to my um, hip at the moment so it's very so yeah very very long it's driving me crazy so yes like I said the first thing is make sure you wash your hair straighten it and I do it completely dry you can use it a little bit damp if it makes it easier for you but I like to do it completely dry so I can see what it looks like because if your hair is wet and you cut it sometimes it bounces back up and you lose a little bit more length than you initially wanted to now what I'm gonna do is part my hair in the middle because even though I do wear a side part I do need to part it in the middle so I can make sure that everything is gonna be even Okay, I've got it in the middle. You can see my hair does not really like to go in the middle, but it should be fine for this haircut. And you guys, I also should put it out there, I am not a professional at all. I started cutting my hair at home just to save money, and unless you are super into saving money and taking a little bit of risk, I would not recommend this because, yeah, I just, you guys, I like to save the money, and for me it works just fine, and I have very long hair, which means I have a pretty big room for error. <laughs> if you have short hair, I don't know, if even medium length hair if I would really do this but if you really want to save money and you're ready to just I don't know try it out then go for it but I'm not a professional so please do not take my advice <laughs> so I've got my hair divided into two and I brought it around the front so now what I'm gonna do is section off my hair so this is the first section that I'm gonna cut so I'm gonna cut that much I would say that's like an inch and a half to two inches always better to start with less because you can always cut more so keep that in mind and I'm just gonna be cutting that straight because if it's straight across the front it will give you that kind of like swoopy like V look in the back which I do personally prefer on my hair type so I'm just gonna go and then just snip snip straight as I can I'm trying not to make a mess I'm in a hotel room but I just put a towel under myself to catch all the hair which we will shake out, so I think that will work. So as you can see, first impression, it just kind of cleaned up all the split ends and makes it a little bit more even, so I'm just gonna keep going, because for me, I need to do a lot of sectioning because I have a lot of hair, but for some people, you might be able to split all your hair and put it in front and be done with it, but since my hair is so thick, I think I'm gonna have to do two or three sections on each side. So instead of continuing on this side, I wanna do like from this side to this side so I can compare the length and make sure that everything is even, so I can kind of compare here um, the part that I did cut with the part that I did not cut and I'm just gonna line it up and then I can see exactly where I need to cut so I lined that up with this end and I'm just gonna cut as straight as I can so obviously you want it to be the same length on both sides so I just can kind of check that over how does it look and you guys I'm not trying to be like 100% perfect as long as it's pretty even that's what I'm going for like I said my hair is very long so you do not really see little mistakes and things like that so I'm gonna section off this side and do the same thing again so I'm lining up that new section with the old section and you can see here what I need to cut it's a little bit longer for some reason <laughs> or maybe not hard to tell my hair is like so many lengths in it you guys it looks like one length, but from all the years of like cutting my own hair, it's not completely even. 
so that should line up with the old section and again I'm gonna work on this side now to keep things even as we go So now that I've got it completely cut, I just want to go check in a mirror that everything is even before I part my hair back um, to the side like my normal part. So I'm just going to go double check that. See, it looks pretty even on the bottom, so now I'm going to go and part my hair into its normal part and we'll check how it looks. that is it thank you so much for watching obviously this is not like some fancy layered hairstyle it's just a simple cut that I really like on my hair personally and if you have similar hair type hair taste maybe it would work for you as well again like I said please use caution doing this the first time because you can mess it up and it's your hair so trying to save money could turn into a disaster if you end up going to the hairdresser to get everything fixed so just yeah Play it safe a little bit at a time at the beginning until you get more comfortable with the technique. And I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below, would you ever cut your own hair? Are you that crazy? Are you that crazy about saving money as I am? Let me know in the comments. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.